tattoos when I have a wedding dress. I don't think. I mean, we'll see, but that was one of the biggest reasons that I was like not sure about tattoos was I was like, I don't want to be in a wedding dress and like, I just want, you know, it just doesn't feel like the vibe. Um, and that won't show in a wedding dress, but I wear crop tops and low rise jeans all the time. It'll show then. And that's super cute. And that eats. So very, very excited. Very happy. But I do want more tattoos already. It was just fun. It's fun like to like plan it and go in and the girl was so nice and everything everywhere all at once was playing. Weird movie. Really weird movie. I was sitting there and I was like every time I looked up at the TV, I was like, what? Like I would just kind of check back out after a while because I was like, I don't know what's going on right now. Some guy like jumped to sit on something. Do you know what I mean? I, I couldn't. No, I just couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I think all of my tattoos are going to be like, they're going to seem promiscuous, but it's because like, I don't know that I want super, hello? I don't want super visible tattoos, I don't think. But also I want one like here. Oh man. I really want one there. I really want one there. That'd be really cute. I might have to do that. I also want one on the back of my neck. But also, I'm ticklish. And if it gets anywhere near the sides, I'm going to freak out. Because I'm so ticklish. Uh, whatever. Once you're in there, there's nothing you can do. I was scared that I was going to jump. And then it was just going to, like, go all the way in and I was going to die. But that didn't happen. And I remember being, like, so scared. And I was, like, hugging the chair. And I was like, okay, okay. And then she did it. And I was like, oh. That's a tattoo? Just, it just scratches you? That's it? That's how I felt when I got my belly button pierced. My friend was like, mine was like an eight on the pain scale. And I was like, okay, whoo, she's putting a hole through my belly button. Okay. And then it was like, oh, it's done. Okay. Like, it's just like a face scrunch feeling. Yeah. I think I know too many people with the ankle one. No. Hannah took like a two second video, but I'm sitting and I'm like bent over in a crop top. And I was like, that's not very flattering. She could have at least told me so I could suck in. I know that's so, that's such problematic thinking, but I'm just a girl. Yeah, a little bit. So. Um... Really fun. Really fun. Really crazy week. And then I had like a seven hour drive home with my dad. And I was like, do I tell him? Do I not tell him? And every like hour, I'd be like, should I just say it? <laughs> he was like, how was your time with Hannah? And I was like, good. And he was like, what did you guys do? And I was like, you know, we got high and got tattoos. How do I say that? Um, I was like, we just, we hung out. We watched RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, we got pizza. We got snacks. Um, we just hung out and talked. Kind of true. We just talked. Hi. We ate snacks. Hi. We, we uh, got tattoos, but we talked for some of that time. Yeah, part of me is like, you know, I mean, I don't know how much I wear crop tops around them anyway. So I think I should, I think I could still be fine. If I wear high-waisted jeans, I'll be fine. I'm not afraid of them seeing. There's nothing they can do. I don't live with them. They don't pay any of my bills. Not that they would like, you know, whatever. But like, there's literally nothing to be afraid of. I'm just like, they're not going to be happy about it. And that just like, kills my vibe. That's why I didn't tell them when I was excited about it. Because I was like... <sighs> I'm going to be, like, a little annoyed when, like, I show my mom, like, look, I got a tattoo. I'm really excited. I did it for myself. And she's like, of course you did. I saw this coming. You have so much potential if only you would realize it. And I'm like, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Is that too personal? Should I? <laughs> Is this, like, what I shouldn't be talking about on here? 
Probably. Anyway. Um. Point is, maybe I'll tell my parents, maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't know. It is like a podcast. I just yap. I just like to yap quite a lot. Um, I should do a podcast. I think I would be so great at it. But also, the thing about podcasts is you would have to like schedule it. Like every Wednesday, we like I make a podcast. It's like, what if I'm like grumpy or tired or hungry or bored or something? My parents don't have TikTok. And if they did, hi, mom and dad, I got a tattoo. <laughs> Um, dude, I would, I would love that. I would love that. There's so, I'm also just like afraid of like, every time that I think I'd have a great podcast with someone, I'm like, what if it ruins a relationship? What if like, I edit out something they say, cause I like, don't think it's funny or like whatever. And then they're like, <laughs> and then it seems like sketchy, you know? And then our friendship ends all just because of our podcast. Cause you should never go into business with a friend. Record them Tuesday night, release them Wednesdays or back then, but. I guess if I reward them, I mean, reward, record them whenever I'm, like, in the mood. Before, the reason I didn't was because I have absolutely zero storage. That's kind of still the tea. I could, I could, like, record, get a little mic to my laptop or something, maybe. I have way more storage there. I don't know, I... Per. I, I should just be a guest on the basement yard because I know I could keep up. I know I could keep up. I do have a camera. Oh, yeah. People record the- <laughs> them. It's only got like a half hour, though, but I can get a new SD card. So, no excuses. Ugh, I hate when I have no excuses. I love excuses. I absolutely can't keep up. You're recording yours on the computer? <gasps> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Maybe. Well, let me not promise things. After the freaking live, when I should have said I'll start Patreon lives, like, in January or something, I was thinking I, I said it too soon, and then people yelled at me. And by people, I mean one person. Literally just one singular person yelled at me, and I was like, sorry. I mean, I don't know how we vibe. Shagadelicon, John. Shagadelic John? Shagadelic John. Why did it take me that long to figure it out? Don't know. <sighs> I'm very picky. I'm a Virgo. I don't know who is mad at me for talking about signs, but whatever. The point is, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, even though half the shit that I put out is absolute garbage. Um, so, OBS Studio. I'm screenshotting this as if, like, I don't have a million other things that I need to do first and I'm not doing. And I'm like, let me add one more thing to disappoint the people by talking about something and then just not doing it. You're great at interviewing. I'm great at interviewing. You'd be like, how did you get into blah, blah, blah? And you'd be like, how did you get into blah, blah, blah? And you'd be like, how do you feel about blah, blah, blah? I'm like, hmm.